Hello everyone, Akash here and I welcome you all to YouTube Dev channel and in this video we are going to learn call, bind and apply methods in JavaScript. Okay, and we are also going to look what is polyfill for bind method in JavaScript. Okay, so guys let's get started. Okay, so if I talk about call, bind and apply methods, uh, basically these are used for method borrowing. Okay, and uh, we can use these methods to set this keyword independent of how a function is called. Okay. The bind method creates a copy of the function and sets the this keyword. Okay, while the call and apply methods, what they do is they set the this keyword and they call the function immediately. Okay, they do not create any copy of the function. Okay, now first we are going to see the call method. Okay, so let's create the object. Uh, what you can do? You can also uh, code along with me. Okay, so um, let's take a name, Davina. Okay, and a function. Print something. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, backtick. Um, template literals okay and okay so let's suppose uh, like this dot name loves to perform some activity okay and here goes our activity okay cool uh, this is a small object now let's call this object Okay, so we got undefined because we have not passed the activity name. Okay, so now let's suppose uh, that Devina likes to dance. Okay, now cool. Uh, we got Devina loves to dance. Okay, now let's make another object and let object to. Okay, now let's suppose that I want to use this same function. Okay, for this object. Okay, so now how we can do that? Okay, now here comes our. Uh, function borrowing okay and this we can do with the help of call now let's see how we can do this first we need to write the function that we need to call okay so we have to call object dot print something okay then we can make use of call okay so call bind and apply methods these are available on all the functions for all the function okay in javascript now here now here goes the this okay that we have to refer okay now we want that this dot name should refer to this akash over here okay so now pass obj2 okay now let's see what we get wait for a second oops okay we got akash loves to undefined okay because we have not passed the arguments okay cool as you can see we got Akash loves to play okay so what we can do we can also give one more parameter over here that is name okay like the name of the activity basically uh, and what we can have here is name and guys here we have to pass the arguments individually okay like within double quotes like let's suppose i give here cricket okay okay cool as we can see we have akash loves to play cricket okay now this is how we used call now let's see how we can make use of apply okay so we write apply similar as we have written uh, as we have written call okay but in this the only difference is that uh, here goes our this okay and we have to pass arguments within the array okay like play okay let me comment this one and let's use over here uh, 
basket ball okay cool as we can see uh, we got our akash loves to play basketball now what they did is they simply set the this for us okay and they called the function immediately okay now let's have a look at uh, bind okay okay so guys what bind does is it creates the copy of the function okay now let's suppose we get the new function okay object dot print something dot bind and here goes our uh, this okay like object 2 okay now we get this function okay the copy of this function okay here now we have to invoke it how we can do that we can invoke it using uh, over here okay and similarly we can simply pass the arguments over here like play okay as we can see it worked okay we can also let's change okay cool as you can see uh, it created the function I mean to say it created the copy uh, of that function and then we have uh, then and then we invoked it and we passed the argument over here okay and we got Akash loves to play football so guys uh, this is it about call bind and apply okay now we are going to discuss about that what is polyfill for bind okay okay so now friends let's discuss what is polyfill for bind method okay so polyfill is basically uh, we can say a back support for some methods that are not supported by old browsers okay or some of the browsers so in such cases where the methods are not supported by the browser we have to write our own polyfill for those methods okay so similarly if some browser does not support the bind method then we have to write our own implementation for bind method now let's see how we can do that okay so friends we are gonna use the same code uh, to study the polyfill for bind method okay now uh, let's study what is bind method okay so bind method is a method that is available for every function in javascript okay so what we need to create now let function my bind okay now we have to make this my bind okay my bind method and here goes our object to okay so now friends uh, it is going to be something like this okay like here it will be our my bind okay so now let's see um, first thing that we have seen like we have to make it available to every function okay so how we can do that we can do that with the help of we, um, by putting it in function dot prototype okay dot and guys if you do not know what is the prototype property in javascript then i have also made a video on prototype property okay and i will drop that link in the description box just don't forget to check this uh, check that video okay now um, we have made it accessible to all the function by putting it in the prototype property now what it is doing over here it is actually providing us with the copy of this function okay it is returning a function now let's do that part return a function okay so now here it is returning a function and which we can invoke it like this okay so now what we how we can do that actually okay so it is actually returning returning us a function and we call and when we call it okay this function gets invoked okay so now how we can access print something over here okay so now how we can access it uh, actually we can ex access it with the help of this okay actually are this inside this function refers to print something i can show you document dot right 
let's comment this okay now as we can see what we got over here is this function that i told you print something okay this function that we are that we have here over uh, activity name okay the same function you can see okay the same function we have got okay so we can get this print something over here with the help of this okay now let's store this this somewhere like let i will be storing storing this this in this function because it's a function that we are getting okay uh, we cannot directly use this this over here because here this this will refers to the window object okay so that's why i have stored it first in function then we can use it over here now what we can do it what we can do is function dot okay now what we have to do here is we have to type a his function dot call okay that print something dot call and um, it should refer to which this okay which objects this that we have to pass over here okay so that we are getting from here object 2 okay now how we can access this over here is context okay so here we have got our context okay now this much is done now what we can try is what if uh, we want to type something over here like let us suppose we have to pass some arguments over here like play okay now how we can access this argument over here <coughs> is with the help of this syntax for rest parameter i hope you know what is rest parameter with the help of rest parameter we can have indefinite number of arguments as an array okay so we have this args over here and we can easily get this over here okay now just um, okay yeah one more thing let's try running this much okay what we get okay so what we got over here is akash loves to and we have got two undefined okay good we have got two undefined okay now try passing this args over here okay okay but we also need to have this cricket okay so how we can have this cricket this cricket we will be getting from here the arguments from here okay so either we can write like this args like the rest parameter or we can simply get it from like here uh, wait for a second I will be using here apply okay I am writing over here apply because we have to make sure that we get both the arguments this one and this one okay so how we can get that with the help of um, args comma okay now let's have a look good let me tidy it yeah okay so i hope okay so i hope you have understood this we got our akash loves to play cricket okay now what we have done here let's recap first we have made it available for all the function in javascript that we have done with the help of function dot prototype dot my bind method okay now it is our bind okay our implementation okay then we have passed over here the object that we have to refer to okay like which uh, which objects this we have to refer okay that we have got from context okay like here and then we have passed some arguments like play okay and that we have got it from and that we got from here and now as we know that what bind method does it is simply um, provides us the copy of the function okay so it provides us the copy of the function and then we can simply call that function and when we call that function that function get invokes so how we can do that for that we simply return the function okay and we have simply called that function over here and when we are calling that function over here okay then we have to also specify over here like uh, what we have to uh, like to which object we have to set the this okay so we have to set the this to this object that we are getting from here and we simply provided the arguments okay like the arguments we are passing okay so cool 
I guess the implementation for uh, like the implementation for our own bind method is uh, clear to you all and guys if you have any query regarding the call bind and apply methods or the polyfill for bind method that, then do ask me in the description box okay and that's all for this video i will catch up all in the next video with some another questions or queries okay so guys till then stay tuned and thank you for watching